welcome back to my channel. For those of you that are new, I'm Tanya, and thanks for stopping by. For all of you that have come to know me and enjoy watching my videos, thank you for coming in and watching. So today we are going to do a tour of our family room. We did a decorate with me on the mantle, and we did the Christmas tree, um, just kind of step by step, not really a decorate with me. So this, to finish up this family room, we're just gonna do a tour and then we will move on hopefully next week or i guess this week because today's sunday i plan on doing the gallery wall in the kitchen and the kitchen table and then i'm also going to do a kitchen decorate with me so that is my plans so let's get right to it i'm going to show you this living room and i would love to hear what you guys think Many of you know, we changed the colors and so everything was kind of new. We weren't sure where things were gonna go. And I think I'm happy with it when we do our home tour. There could be some changes, we'll just have to see. But let's get to it guys and I hope you enjoy it. Okay, friends, so that was just a quick video to be able to wrap up this family room. I will talk about a couple of things just for um, let you, in case you had any questions. So our lamps, if you remember, we had pumpkins in them for the fall. And what we did was uh, clearly the bottle brush trees with the snow. Now you could use Epsom salt, which I kind of think would be better than the snow, but we did use the snow. Um, I don't know if any of you all saw that Nubby made another appearance with the whole woodland theme. We just couldn't uh, pack Nubby away. I, we both thought that he'd be really cute sitting over by the door. The three trees that we have over by the door, we got on clearance at Walmart last year. We actually bought the displays and they were just dirt cheap. Um, the flocked wreath on the door matches the flocked garland that we have on the mantle and both of those came from Walmart. I talked about the mantle and the tree in my other two videos. Um, on our little end tables, we just, they're, it's really hard to get a good angle at those because of, I do put decor on that bottom shelf, but the, um, the trees, they are, they were Walmart either maybe two years ago on clearance and they're not keeping up. I don't know that we'll be able to use them next year. The little wood chips are falling off. And I just added some little Christmas pics to my um, pictures that I have down there. I like to keep those out. So as you can see, it's really just kind of a very simple um, little scene that we've set up. I'm hoping to be able to keep the majority of the things up for winter. Of course, the Christmas tree will come down and the Merry Christmas sign. Um, I'm still trying to find something to go up there and 
everything is so shopped over. You know, I definitely have learned in the past two or three years, if you do not get what you want prior to Halloween, chances are you're not gonna get the things that you want. Um, the black pillows with the trees and the little house scenes, those came from Walmart. The uh, Christmas wreath green pillow on our couch, I got, it's actually a cover, a pillow cover, and I ordered that off of Amazon. So this was definitely a challenge to us. We completely changed the color story and all of the items that we use, we just kind of um, put them in different places in our house and change things around to try to create this very calm, subtle winter wonderland. So let me guys, uh, let me know what you guys think. Did we achieve it? What do you think of the, the flock? It is so messy. It's very pretty, but it is very messy. But what do you think of the green and the black and the white and um, just trying to create that sort of woodland effect? All right, guys. Well, listen, Thanksgiving is coming up. I don't know if I'll have a video up prior to Thanksgiving. Um, I do have a few days off this week, so that might be we may dive into the kitchen area, especially our, our kitchen table and our gallery wall. We may shoot to have a video posted up for Wednesday, and those will definitely be decorate with me's. But anyway, if I don't see you guys before, then you all have a wonderful Thanksgiving. I hope that you're able to be with your family and friends and that you are just blessed beyond measure. So that'll be all tonight. You all have a great night. Thank you so much for tuning in. Bye, guys.